These are my kitchen scales. I've had them quite a while and they've been working perfectly but recently the tear weight which you sort of set it back to zero hasn't been working so you can press that button and it's not going back to zero. One idea of the, a tear weight is actually you can put something on. I mean apart from that it's working. You can put something on like that. So you could put flour in, press it and it should go back to zero and then you can put margarine in or butter or whatever you want because then it's taking that weight from like zero again so if you have a bowl a mixing bowl with a few ingredients in I'm actually sometimes when also when I'm pressing this button tends to jump about, it's not doing it now, is it, it just when I, so it jumps, and I would say in tear now, and I've just put a new battery in here by the way, so it's not the battery, the unit seems to work okay, I'll show you the back, there's a the model number etc etc, it does have these almost like a bit springy feet. Well, they can move about these rubber feet. I mean, well, rubberish, yeah, it grips. It doesn't slide about. You can hear that great. And, and it's been very, very good. No problems at all except for this. Now, I imagine it might be just a button inside. But I'm going to open this up. There's what? A few screws on the outside here. When I've opened it up, I'll come back. I'll take the battery out first. So it says model KS760. Let me get this battery out. As I say, this is a new battery, so it's not the batteries. I'll unscrew these and come back. So there we are, eight screws. Now be careful when you're opening anything, sometimes it can be wires, ribbon cables attached to like the underside. Now I should be able to separate this. Let me try and get in the camera. Sorry. I hope I get some better lighting than I have at the moment. Yes, there are two wires there going to the battery. Let me swap this wire uh, light about. Okay, I've moved the lights around a bit so you might see these black and red wire those just go to the battery sort of in this body part button cell battery. Does it say the battery number on there? No it doesn't. CR2032 3 volts. Just a button cell battery like that. And Obviously there's two strain gauges here, looks like. Ah, it's got wires going to the, uh, those feet. That's quite surprising. Let me turn this around because it would be easier for me. So I'll show you that. See there's a couple of wires going over to each of the feet. Yeah. Well, I imagine that strain gauges might have been under these, like sheets here, folded metal. But it might be actually just in in the feet itself, like strain gauges in the feet. Two wires going to each one. Was there? Oh, there's three ways going to each one, I think. Red, black and white. Let me double check that. Yep, red, black and white. Now, quite often, if it is a strain gauge here, which I presume it is, that's maybe why the feet are... They can be like, moved a 
bit. Uh, quite often they'll have these in what is known as a Wheatstone Bridge configuration that gives more sensitivity. I'll try and put some information about Wheatstone Bridges here. That obviously goes over to the electronic sort of control board which is COB, chip on board. Can't really tell what's under there. Quite a lot of like things going in, wires going in them, circuit tracks going in there. I don't know what this is on here, there seems to be some blue stuff or something going on this other chip. Yeah. Got some bits of almost lightweight tape here. So each, each of these four pads seem to be coming in separately. Three, 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 yeah. Red, black and white. Same on the other side, presumably. Just move those wires out the way. Yes. I thought that these big metal pads might be the actual strain gauges, but I think they're just there to reinforce the, the lid, to add strength to the lid. I'm going to actually unscrew these to have a look underneath. Uh, I'll take off the circuit board as well and we'll have a look under there. Let me unscrew these, I'll leave, well one of them at least, because the other one probably just the same, just a matching pair. So I took the six screws out. These these are just like sticky paper. They're, they're not very sticky at all, really. You probably see there. Let's take one of these metal things out. Yes. Oh, they're quite they're quite heavy for the size. A bit unusual, quite thick metal. See there? And obviously the shape gives a lot of like strength. So obviously those are just reinforcements. They're not the strain gauges. The screen strain gauges are obviously in the in the feet. Magnetic. Very magnetic. Um, this is magnetic, so it does have magnetics on the screwdriver, but that's certainly sticking there to that. I feel that. Let me see if I can get one of these feet off. Let me have a look at that. Well, I've had to, as good as break one of these, like plastic type feet, which have a sort of spring mechanism in them, so that they can move a bit. See that that's broken off. So obviously, there's metal plate there. Yes, these must be actually just. I'm quite surprised how magnetic they are. Quite a strong magnet. I probably I might be able to slide one of these out, but obviously as something gets put on it, it deforms this plate a bit, and then it can measure the changes. Let me see if I can slide this out. I think there's a couple of pins. That catches under here. Oh no, yeah, I thought I was pushing up on it then, but I wasn't, I was pushing on the plastic. Yeah, 
there seems to be a couple of small clips on this side and leave in I'm leaving this, uh, oops, there we go, so there we are, we can see, obviously to put whatever this white stuff over the actual strain gauge, so to speak, three whites going in, as I say, red, black and white, all the whites seem to go to one point on each side, so, don't know what's going on there so there's a closer look at this gauge let me check the magnetics I might be able to demonstrate this better now actually so yes this is magnetic screwdriver well there's a very weak magnet in it so it's not the screwdriver it's mainly this metal why should it be magnetic you see that that's holding on there reasonably strong. I don't want to remove the other feet. I'll take out, there's quite a few screws in this circuit board. I'll take them out and I'll show you what's on the underside of here. Right, I've took the screws out so the circuit board is pretty much free. And there's, oh it's got them um, like zebra strips, what is known as, going to the display. And they make contact with here. I'm quite surprised there isn't another road, there's like two rows of zebra strips here. So we've got the two buttons, actually all that might be wrong is a button. It might not be making proper... Um, contact uh, it looks like a few test points on here on the board see the round circles there I think they're test points Got more up here Obviously I don't know what the chip on board is, it's just like a blob of stuff. On the other side. Okay, I'll, I'll lift up this uh, LCD, a good crystal display, might as well. Seems, as I said, there seems to be two, like what they call zebra strips, which are like contacts, always coming up, which are separated. Might be able to take those out. See, have to be careful here, because this. Glass. Yes, it's coming out. Just trying to get with the edge of my screwdriver. There we are. So there's the LCD display, and you can see the zebra sort of strips there and there.
C uh, CY906-4 says on that. Does have a number on here. I'm not sure if that's a date code. Looks like 4910. Sounds like a date code. 4910 and an image of something there. Don't know what. Let me have a closer look. Right, it says uh, transect trans stack T S K seven sixty L F seven eleven twenty two. So obviously that's a date code. Presumably, it's probably two thousand and seven. Sounds probably about right. I've had it quite a number of years. Oh, it's just got on off tear there and unit on this side, like stamped on the board. And just the word display. I mean, I might as well pull the wires off because I'm not going to put this back together. about a bit to get the light. Don't know why it's got a big hole in there. It's almost like something's been deliberately cut out of it. Big square hole. It's got resistor markings. It's got the same trans deck T S K seven sixty L F Yeah, same on there, quite a few uh like surface mount components, so you going out there. Ch uh, resistors and capacitors. See quite a lot of uh, circuit seems to be quite a lot of circuit tracks going into that chip on board there. Quite a lot for the size of it, in my opinion. much on this side just really the switches and contacts for circuit boards and some V's there going through to the other side yeah just say that there's they've gone into an awful lot of like trouble to like strengthen this you can see that it has these like ribs and there's quite a few triangles in them and squares in them that strengthens it and then they've got these metal two metal plates with the curved sections almost on them that's really really you know trying to bend that and I can't bend that by hand <coughs> trying to the other side just basic so there's an awful lot of, um, in a way, engineering gone into the surface, the top part, to strengthen it and make sure that it won't distort, anything like that. I'll just show you the, uh, I think most of these have the same markings on, I don't know. 
could be number 44 or something each one might have to be adjusted like programmed presumably that's some sort of possibly CPU under there and you've got those uh, look like test points as well quite a few test points odd that they have that square hole in if you ask me it seems definitely deliberate action to do that and I don't think it's I don't think they use high voltage or anything right I'll just show you this uh, one of these strain gauges I presume they, well, they look all the same same similar markings on them in felt tip that's that side that's that side remember that it does have this oops I'm going up there so it's sort of metal plate that goes across from one side to the other so as weights put on there it's going to bend this center part where this yellow uh, sorry white stuff is I'm just snapping the wires oh yeah it come, comes reasonably off that scrapes off it's almost like paint so that gives you a bit of a <laughs> oh yeah there's a, almost a bit of a circuit there to, I want to try not to scratch it too much with this screwdriver bit some sort of I think it's some Possibly enamel sort of paint there. So you can see some sort of circuitry on on there to like pads almost going from one to the well almost one side to the other so to speak. So I don't know if those are the um, strain things right I'll finish off there don't think there's much else I can say about it except it has been a good set of scales we've had them well looking at the year number on there quite a few years Pity that they've, for some reason, they've gone faulty. Maybe they've got a bit of moisture in or something.